Some of the miracles of petroleum are familiar to us all. We know, for instance, that oil made possible one of the greatest inventions of history, the internal combustion engine, which gave us mastery over the air, meant mass transportation for the world, changed the face of continents, quickened the very pulse of civilization, provided man with an ease of living. Most of the projections that are out there uh, suggest that the demand for energy is going to increase 50 or 60 percent over the, uh, the next uh, 25 years. Transportation is the largest component of, of uh, oil demand growth in, in the U.S. and the world. Uh, basically, uh, in, in the U.S., transportation now consumes 67 percent of the, of the oil barrel, and these projections it grows to 71 percent. I'm from the Council of Scientific Society Presidents. It's a group that represents 150 scientific disciplines and one and a half million scientists. Electricity accounts for about 35 percent of the total use of energy, transportation about 25 to 30 percent. There are forecasts that call for a radical restructuring of the energy system. We see that in electricity, we lose uh, a clear majority, about 50 or 60 percent of all the electricity that we create gets lost in transmission. If we look at the energy supply in transportation, about 80 percent or more gets lost in heat and other inefficiencies. We only capture five or six percent to actually move vehicles. So if we look at the target that we ought to be doing strategically for long-term solution, we should be looking at distribution of energy supplies, electricity, so that we don't have long transmissions, uh, we have to focus on increasing the efficiency of the use of the energy that we put into the, the transportation system. If we can do these two things, either one, we totally negate the need for coal as a supply, and we totally negate the need for importing oil. <laughs>